Hey guys, welcome back to my video. Today, I'm going to be showing you how I install my clip-in hair extensions because, believe it or not, this is not my real hair. If you've been watching for a while, you know that. So if you're interested in seeing how I put these really long extensions in, how I blend them, and make sure they are not seen on my head through my really fine hair, then just keep watching. So the first thing you need to do seems obvious, but that is to brush your hair. And if you have a dog, give lots of loving. So I have my extensions here. These are the seamless clip-in extensions from Maxful that I got off of Amazon. Very, very affordable and really good quality. I have done a full extensive review on them on my channel already. So if you're interested in seeing that, I will link them above me right now and in the description for you to check out for yourself. So I do a few different techniques when I install my extensions. I've gotten them all from other people. I didn't come up with any of these myself. Could you please? But I've taken something from quite a few different people. So personally, I've never seen this exact method on one person, but everything I do has been taken from someone's method. I've just kind of taken a few out to best suit my needs because everyone's hair is different. Everyone's hair type, everyone's head shape, all that jazz, and what you're wanting your extensions for, whether it's just for length, length and thickness, or just for thickness, that will determine how you put them in as well. So I'm going to part my hair to put my first row in, which would be the row at the very bottom and back of my head. I like to part my hair in a bit of a V shape. That helps to change the dimension a little bit and add a slight layering effect from the front to the back which is more natural and helps the extensions to blend more seamlessly. Okay so what I do for my first row, so I actually take a two clip and a three clip weft and put them together. I stack them so that I am only putting really one clip on my head but it's worth about two clips, if you know what I mean. And I do that just by simply clipping the two clip on top of the three clip. Easy peasy. Now there are a few different ways to help secure the clips into your hair so that they don't slip out. The way that I have found most helpful for me is using hairspray. You don't need much, you just need a little bit to help add some stickiness and some texture for the clips to hold on to. And don't worry, this does not cause them to stick to your hair to where it's going to rip your hair out. Otherwise, I would not be doing it. Next, I brush out my extensions and simply clip them in, starting in the very middle to help make sure it's even. I try to grab a little bit of hair on the edge and bring it to the clip because sometimes it can be difficult for it to grab it, so this is just me helping the process. And then if you see, I do a little bit of a, I don't know what you call that, like rubbing the clip around. <laughs> it's not really just rubbing it, but it's to kind of get it to grab onto hairs for it to actually clip onto. This might be sounding super confusing, but hopefully you're understanding what I mean. Then I brush those out and move on to the next section. This section is just slightly above the other one because I'm trying to pack them in, so I'm not leaving a huge gap. Again, this one is in a slight V shape to add that illusion of layering. And then I add on the hairspray. Okay, for this section, I do the technique again where I stack the wefts on top of each other. This time, I'm using a four clip weft with a three clip weft on top of it. Remember to brush out your extensions first and then go ahead and apply. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm choosing sizing based on my head shape and where on my head I'm putting them. But when I get to this point, I'm trying to leave a good section of hair around my face without a clip on it. Just so you know if the wind blows or if I'm playing with my hair, I don't pull it or tug it or anything like that. Now time for the next row. This is where I start to change it up a little bit. Here, because I do not have a middle part and I have a side part, I am taking from the side that has less hair and I'm going in a diagonal line again, not in the very center of the back of my head, but off to the side, but again, far enough away from my face that you won't see it, if that makes sense. And here is where I grab a single two clip weft. When I say single, I mean I'm not, I mean I'm not stacking them this time.
Now my next row, which is my second to last row, however that makes it sound like I have two more full rows to put in, that's not the case. This next row is simply a two clipped weft and the next one is just going to be a one clip. So for this two clip weft I'm doing pretty much the same thing that I just did on the other side but this time it's on the side that has more hair on it. Now I'm grabbing my two clip weft and gonna clip it onto my head. Now for the last final row. This will be the single one clip weft. Now here I'm putting it on the side of my part that has the most hair and putting it a little bit higher up than the previous clip I put in, but I'm trying to feel around on my head where the curve is because I don't want this sitting on the curve because then it'll stick out more. So either right above or right below the curve of your head, if you know what I mean. And this is just kind of a judgment and it's kind of different every time. All right, now all the clips are in. I'm going to show you how I personally style them for just a normal everyday kind of wear. So follow me to the bathroom. <laughs> okay, sorry for the horrendous lighting. This is very yellow because we are inside my bathroom. So if the audio is a little weird too, apologies. But in here, I am heating up my curling wand and I'm going to curl the ends and up high enough to reach my hair, which my short layers are to here. And the long ones are about to here. So I'm gonna curl kind of up to here to blend them in a little bit and then be on my way. The reason I don't curl higher up like what I think is kind of normal and very pretty but the reason I don't do that is because my natural hair does not like holding a curl. So the ends will stay curled enough because it's a big loose curl but the rest wouldn't so I'm just gonna work with what I got. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to be using this heat protectant spray, as you always should. It's important to protect your own hair, obviously. But it's also important to protect your extensions because you want them to last as long as possible. And one of the best ways to do that is to protect them from heat. You wanna brush them all the way through before you start curling them because you don't want any tangles or damaged hair or anything like that. Now let's begin. I grab a smallish section. I don't know if this is considered small. Section about this and start in the back and I do I do all of the curls away from my face because it's just the ends so I don't do like every other one and generally away from your face if you're gonna do just one direction generally away from your face is the more flattering one so that's what I kind of stick to. I go mostly to the end. I know a lot of people don't but I'm not a big fan of that look. I'm fine with not doing all the way to the very end but I like most of it curled. Just a personal preference. Hold the curl for a minute while it cools off. And then let it go. Frick! Don't touch the iron. In case you didn't know, don't do that. It's a little hot. spray to help the hold and I do this before I brush it out or anything like that. <laughs> That's a big difference in length. <laughs> Next side.
bouncy curls. Okay, I'm gonna brush them out now because I think they're cool enough. There's the difference there, brushed out curls versus not. <laughs> all right well there you have it that is how I put in my hair extensions and how I style them to blend with my hair personally everyone's different so I hope this helped you figure out placement for yours if you have hair like me or maybe a head like me. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching. This week's shout out go to these two lovely humans. Thank you so much for your comments. If you would be interested in having a shout out in my next video, then be sure to leave a comment below for a chance to be selected. Thank you guys so much for your comments. I really appreciate them. And again, thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.